Hey guys, Jason Calls out here with FastTakePerformance.com, and we've got Ricardo back here finishing up on some side markers that sure, uh, he's put on for, uh, this 2016 Camaro. These are the Oracle tinted side markers. That's what they look like right there on this Camaro. Ricardo is going to kind of give you a little rundown on what it, what the options are, what different it takes options, to get them installed, different installation stuff that you might need to know. Um, Really kind of, I kind of got everything kind of set up here for you guys uh, to show you what you need, how to do it, and the different versions that are available. Um, so we get a lot of questions as far as what's what's the tinted version, what's the the clear version, what's the ghosted version. Some people don't know what a ghosted version side mark of the version, ghosted version of the side marker is. Um, the ghosted version is basically this one right here. This is for a six gen. Now this is in black. Now. What the ghost it is, it doesn't show anything. So pretty much you don't see anything as far as LEDs are concerned. As you guys can see here in the clear ones, you can see the LEDs clearly. Okay? Now, the ghosted versions, those you don't see the LEDs at all. But when you turn them on, or when they're powered on with the car, I'll show you what these look like here. When they're powered on with the car, the LEDs will actually shine through. So when it's on the car, it looks like a complete fender. It looks like the complete bumper. Everything's complete and like nothing's there. But when you turn the light on, you're going to get the LED effect, whether it's red or the amber. So for you guys that don't know what the ghosted are, that's what the ghosted version is. Now, like I said, we also have the clear. The clear, that one's basically just going to be a clear lens, clear housing, and you're going to see everything. The circuit board, all the LEDs, everything in there. And that's the clear version right here. And now this is, these are for the 6th gen. Okay, and also here's the tinted version for the 6th gen as well. Now the tinted version is basically the same thing as the clear, just the marker itself is tinted. Now you can get the clear and the tinted with painted. Now what is, what is painted? What does that mean? The painted, I have some, uh, I have some uh, fifth gen uh, side markers here that kind of show you what the difference is. So this would be a painted, tinted version of it. So pretty much the entire Outer border, outer border is going to be painted and the LED strip is going to be visible. Um, so that's the difference. This, like I said, this is tinted and you can also get a clear version of this as well. So the clear is going to look like that. So just to kind of keep that in mind and also have a set of fit gen ghosted here. So there's a different color. This one is red rock, red rock metallic. So if some of you guys that have that color, this is what the side marker will look like. But that's a fit gen side marker. Another 5th gen side marker, and all over here I have the 6th gen side markers. Now here's a factory side marker for the 6th gen, kind of show you guys some of the differences. This is the front, as you can see it's amber, and the rear which is red. Now these we these have our, our tent kit that we offer for yes. the 6th gen. Yes. So, so what, what, uh, what the customer has done is she has replaced those there yes. with these new Oracle tinted ones right yes. here. Yeah. yeah, so like you said, these are the tinted, so the tinted can be taken off. Uh, and uh, you'll expose basically the entire amber lens uh, along with the red lens. And then, like I said, we're just replacing them with the Oracle versions. They're LED. They're really bright. They, they look really nice. Uh, whether you get the clear, the tinted, or the ghosted, they all look phenomenal uh, on there. So what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you how to get them installed on the 6th gen. 5th gen's installation is very similar to the 6th gen. There's uh, probably a little bit of difference as far as just kind of getting your hand in a couple of places to get the clips off and uh, get it unplugged and go from there. But uh, these these are the fit gens, and like I said, there's a clip right here that clips on the back side, and then this tab right here yeah, goes into the bumper. So that's insulation for a fifth gen side marker. Sixth gen side markers, they're a little different. They're not held on with a tab like those are. Uh, these are just basically held on with these little push pins, and those basically you push them out, and it pops out of the uh, bumper itself. So that's what the these side are. There we go. And another cool thing that uh, some people don't know is that, well, I don't know, how do I know what brand side markers I have? Oracle Brands has their logo on the back of each of their side markers. You can kind of see that in there. Let me get around to it. You see it. Let's see here. There we go. That's how you'll know it's an Oracle side marker. They put their name on the back of them. So that's the 6th gen, and on the back of the 5th gen, you can kind of see it right there. It's not coming out, but... No, yeah. But it's got their logo right there. So those are kind of the differences as far as how to tell what side markers you have. In case you bought the car used, that's how you'll be able to tell. So we'll go ahead and get started with the installation. 
And now, the what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the front. Okay, we're going to start with the front, and then we'll work our way to the rear. Now, with the front, um, there is an exception on this car uh, because this customer does have the Novi Stretch bumper cover. She has a couple of different bolts that are that took took place of the factory bolts. So we'll kind of move the tire here. We get the tire out of the way, and as you can see, they're kind of Phillips bolts. The uh, the factory bolts are Torx head bolts, so that's kind of the difference here. All we're going to do is remove these first top two, this one up top here, this one here, and then we'll be able to access the clips for the side marker itself. So, so we'll go ahead and get started with that one. And I turned the tire just to kind of give me enough room to kind of get the screwdriver or Torx bit that you might be working with, kind of give you enough room to get it in there. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Yeah, Guys, if y'all have any comments or questions while we're doing this install yeah, about know. this or about anything else, let us know. Yeah. We'll be more than happy to answer it for yeah, you. No problem. So once you got the two screws out, we're going to go ahead and back here. And we're going to put this, pull the fender liner back. Kind of pull it back a little bit. And here you can already see the factory side markers right here. It's got the clip up top here. And you got the other clip right here at the bottom. So what we'll do is I usually start at the top. A little easier to get to. Start at the top, squeeze that tab, and as you can see, it's already starting to push out from the back side. So I'll hold it there. The bottom one. And I'll go ahead and push that tab. Push that tab in, and then it comes out as one unit. Now, the electrical plug. Just a simple electrical plug. All we're going to do is we're going to push this tab down and pull it out a little bit. So that's pretty much the, uh, the factory marker, as you can see. It's already gone, it's already gone. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get the, the uh, Oracle side marker and we'll go ahead and swap them out. Now, one thing on the 6th gen, one thing you guys want to pay attention to is the design of the uh, side marker. Um, as you can see, the side markers look essentially the same. Um, I think the, diff the, the big difference is that uh, there's a driver's side and a passenger side, but then if we take the rear, they look the same. This was the front that we just took out. This is the rear that I took out on the driver's side. So, as you can see, they, they have the same shape. So, what happens is that Oracle, the, the shapes are going to look the same as well. Obviously, I already got the other one put in, so I'm not going to not gonna be able to show you. But, what we'll do is on the 6th gen versions, go ahead and test them before you go ahead and put them on. Because you can see this one's amber. Amber is going to go in the front. Red is going to go in the rear. So, we'll kind of show you all what it looks like. Like I said, this one's the amber. So if we walk back here, we'll show you. This one is a red one. I did test it before we put it on. But what I want to show you is the shape itself. So as you guys can see, it has the exact same shape as the rear. So you want to test them out before you put them on the car. So that way, when you put them on the car, you go turn the lights on. And that's when you figure out that you might have them backwards. So, so if you're gonna if you're gonna check them, obviously you're probably not gonna have a power box like we do. Right. What you can do is you can plug it in first yeah. into the plug, and Ricardo yeah. will show you that right now. Yeah, definitely. We'll plug it in, and definitely. then from there we can. Uh, from there you can turn the lights on. From there the parking lights. I want to say we have the key, and I believe the the parking lights do turn on with the key. So we'll go ahead and hit that key. If not, we'll go and reach inside and plug them on. And uh, uh, Kenneth, will, would an SS splitter fit on an I4 turbo bumper? No. no. No, no, SS is completely different. different so, shape. Different so shape. like you take this splitter right here, this is a GM performance splitter right here. This is obviously the V6 front end, so this would probably be the one that you would use if you're looking for the GM style. Something like that, for, yeah. For it. Anyways, yeah, something, something like that or uh, the ACS. ACS right now I believe is the, um, actually there's two. Uh, I just found the another one yesterday um, if you're looking for carbon fiber. Anderson Composite has their carbon fiber uh, V6 splitter that they just finished actually uh, and ACS has his V6 splitter that is available right now So it kind of gives you an idea as far as what you're going to need. And let me go ahead and grab the key Just to make sure So we can hit that uh, marker and see if it turns on So like you said before you plug it completely together you bolt everything back on You can always plug it in hold it up And there you go hit the unlock button the lights turn on kind of gives you a good idea as far as what color is already there so then since if you let's say you had red simply unplug it plug it back in and check it from there so 
Now we got it plugged in, we'll go ahead and put it back in, and it's going to snap right in place. You're not going to have to bolt it down or anything. It's going to snap right back in, and you just basically reverse order, put the liner back on, and bolt it back down using the, the factory bolts. Or, like I said, if you have the Novi Stretch, use the bolts that, uh, that Novi Stretch supplies with it. So I know I have the bolts over here. So we'll go ahead and get those bolts. And we'll line that stuff up and uh, bolt it back down. And really, guys, I mean, it's really that simple. Nothing too crazy that you need to do. Fifth gens, for the fifth gen guys, they work about the same. I want to say you have to take three bolts off for a fixed fifth gen. Other than that, it's the same way. Uh, just got to line up the fender, make sure everything got it goes back together the way it was. Hey, Angela. Hey, Jason. How you doing, Anthony? So we'll just go ahead and put these screws back in it. And that's it, guys. That's it. That's all for the front. The fronts go together very easy. And the rears are just about as easy. I would say probably the... What would you say, Jason? Probably the front, probably a little bit more difficult than the rear. You, because you because you have to tire. turn the tire. But yeah, because you if you notice, look, guys, he he already turned this this tire in. So just so you keep in mind that when you are putting these on, it's easier to turn the the wheel and tire in to to access the screws. That way, you don't have to uh, you don't have to sit there and try to fight trying to get between the gap. Yeah. You know, so. And then once we're done, guys, I mean, obviously we're working off a lift. If you're working off the ground, same thing. You might have to start the car, kind of help you turn the wheel a little bit better. But uh, obviously we're in the air. So we'll just take the tire, put it back, and we're done with the front. So we'll go ahead and move on to the rear. Now, the rear on this car is also a little special as well, um, only because it has the GM uh, mud flaps. Um, but essentially the installation is going to be the same. Um, all you're really going to do is you can kind of get in here. There's two screws, one up top here, and one right little, about in the middle. A little dark to try to see. Well, let's see if we can. There you go. You can see them here. there. So those are the those are the the, the screws that you're gonna. So those are the two you're gonna go ahead and take off. And once you get those removed, you're able to um, same thing. Take these clips and they kind of push in a little bit. Fabrics push in a little bit, and um, they clip pop right out. So we'll take. So let's answer a couple questions here. Okay. Uh, mine show up tomorrow. Davis, mine show up tomorrow. Thanks for the deal. Awesome, awesome Davis. Awesome. Uh, Jeff wants to know what do you charge for labor? Um, it just depends on what we're doing. Yeah, depends you know, on it really doing, depends yeah. on what we're doing. Not, not everything. Some people have a basic labor rate. Yeah. With us, it all depends on what it is. You know, Chris, so, so, oh, sorry. sometimes uh, sometimes things are easy enough that uh, you know if it takes me five minutes, it's kind of hard to charge someone for five minutes of labor. Uh, so I mean, it, it just it just depends, you know. If it's an exhaust system, obviously that that's going to take about two hours, um, you know. So it, it just depends. It just depends on what we're going what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, is that lower grill just a stock RS? Yes, it is. Uh, and they're wrapped vinyl. I think Anthony answered that. To place the color lights on the front, do you have to take apart the whole light? Yes. You're talking about oh. you're talking about in the headlight itself, Rudy. If you're yes. talking about that, yes. Yes. You do have to take the whole headlight yeah. out, whole and you have to take it apart. That's, that's so it is a little part. bit of a job. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one, uh, especially on the six gen, six gen, those headlights are a little bit more difficult to to actually come apart than the fifth gen. So depending on what model you have, uh, you might have to go from there. But uh, definitely, you do have to take the headlights apart. Either way. Yeah. All right. So, uh, like I said, guys, we'll go ahead and get uh, get going on this rear one. Oh, this one has uh, different screws as well. So let me go ahead and get the screwdriver. Anthony, Anthony's right behind us, guys. So, uh, Jason, I've been here over an hour. <laughs> He's still waiting. He's still waiting. Yeah. So the factory, the factory bolts are Torx bolts, guys. Um, th these have uh, been replaced. Just want to let y'all know, um, with some uh, Phillips head bolts. But the factory ones are Torx. So kind of keep that in mind. Rudy, this is a uh, RS V6. The same thing goes as far as the side markers, same thing goes for you guys that have an SS um, or you guys have a ZL1 or um, uh, even the turbo four cylinders as far as fifth gens or sixth gens, I'm sorry. 
Um, ZL1s might be a little bit more work just because they have the extra flaps and everything as far as the, to help with downforce. Um, the SS cars, um, actually we'll walk back up here to the front. The SS cars, and I kind of I noticed this earlier, um, the SS cars, if we can kind of get in here, have this plastic piece, this plastic piece, but this entire lip right here is cut out on the SS cars. So on the SS cars, you can actually see the lower clip. If you just turn the tire, you can see the lower clip and it's exposed right there. You can kind of get your finger in there and push it out that way. Um, and then the, obviously the top one, you still have to take the screw out. But uh, something to kind of keep in mind. So each models have some slight differences, but all of them are going to actually mount up to the same location. So we'll go back here to the rear. Awesome, Johnny. And then what we'll do, the rear, you kind of have to get your finger in there. Put the screwdriver up to the side. Kind of get your finger in here and take the fender liner and just pull it back a little bit. So you guys can see there. And then once you pull it back a little bit, it exposes all the entire side marker. So then we'll reach down and we'll undo the lower clip. I'll reach back up here and undo the upper clip. Once you undo those clips, the side markers are going to come right out with the wiring harness and everything, just like we did on the front. So basically the same clip. Take the clip, unplug it. You got your side marker here, and I already have the uh, Oracle side marker right here. Swap it out. So, like we said, like we did it for the front, we'll just plug it back in, line everything back up, and all we're going to do is push it in place. You guys can hear it clipped, clipped in place. You don't have to do any extra, any hardware, no extra bolting down, no double side tape or anything like that. Plugs right back into the factory location and completes the look. Whether you go ghosted, tinted, or clear, it is going to complete the look 100%. So, what we're going to do now... Let's put the liner back in place. Thanks, Johnny Rock. Thanks for hanging out with us today, man. Yeah. Thanks for... Uh... Guys, if you haven't liked our page yet here on Facebook, like, like it, Facebook. please. Um, and sign up for our notifications. That way you can get our notifications so you can see when we're out there. And if you can do me one more favor, if y'all can share our videos, like if you're yeah. in different Camaro groups, share our videos. That way we can get the message out to other people. Let them know that... Um, Modding your Camaro is this easy. This is this easy, guys. This is, this I mean, easy. And, and that's what we're here for is to try to make it, like Ricardo said, as easy as possible for you yeah, guys. Definitely. You know? I mean, we showed you guys last week how to do some springs, you know, and uh, we have kind of showed you guys a whole bunch of this stuff over the over the couple, past couple months. So, I mean, we're really, really excited to bring you all that stuff. So, so like, our, like our Facebook page if you don't like it already. Go ahead and share this feed. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you got questions, man, hit us up. Yeah, we're we're always here for you guys. So, like we said, guys. Once you got the fender liner put back in place, that's it. And like we said, it really completes the look of uh, of the entire car. Hit the hit the key fob real quick. Uh, let's I see. Think I put it put it back over there. Well, let's, let's just check it, out. check it out. So just, just just so you remember, guys, amber goes in the front, red goes in the rear. Yes. Okay. Bam. There you go. That's it. Let's look at it from afar. So uh, that's it, and like, like I said, it really kind of completes the look of everything. It makes it gives a nice, clean feel to it, especially with the LEDs, how bright they are. You, at night, you're really going to really see the difference. The factory bulb is a, is a halogen bulb, although those do great at, at being bright and shooting a lot of light. They're not as bright as an LED bulb, so something to kind of keep in mind. So an LED bulb, you're going to see that more in the distance than you would a halogen bulb. Yeah. So that's something to think about. Thanks, Wade. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate the share. So, like I said, Dak, we appreciate the share, man. Thank you very much. Like we say, guys, we got them all done. Got them all done here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put the car on the ground and see what it looks like uh, virtually complete. How much is a set? Uh, Mark wants to know how much a set is for the sixth gen, Mark, or fifth gen? Yeah, I want to say um, I, I believe for the 
6th gen pricing starts at about 150 for I think the clear and goes up to there. Uh, if you wanted a set of the ghosted versions, um, those, those are painted, so those could take a little bit more time than the clear or the non-tinted, or, or the clear or the uh, tinted. Um, and I want to say those can get up to about three hundred dollars. It depends on the on the paint color because some paint colors are harder to paint than others. Uh, a white, a white or a black is going to be a little easier. Um, if you have like the Krypton green or the hyper blue, then those are a little bit more difficult to paint just because of the different metallics that are offered in that paint. So those take a little bit longer and are a little bit more expensive. RSI4, Mark, uh, they're going to be the same price for the, it doesn't matter if it's the, the, the four cylinder, the V6 or the SS with the ZL1. They all, they're all going to be the same. It's going to be the same one for all of them. They're all going to fit yeah. the same. So like we said, guys, so here's the car kind of done and complete. As you can see, it really kind of finishes off. And you can kind of see what it looked like, it looked like before with the hammer. You know, to kind of give you guys an idea. Um, now, obviously, this is this is going to have the, the tint film on it. So you went from the amber to the completely dark ones. You know, these turned out really nice. Um, and go from there. And, and like we said, the halogen bulbs, kind of show you guys the halogen bulb itself. That's it. That's the only bulb you have in this entire housing. So something to kind of keep in mind. So that bulb is going to basically shine that one part, one part and just illuminate the rest of it. As compared to the LED, which it's the entire strip, the entire circuit board is uh, going to light up that same color. So something to kind of think about uh, if you guys are thinking about doing these side markers. So a lot brighter than a factory one. So I want to thank uh, and uh, I want to thank Nicole and um, and Anthony for letting us use the car. Yeah. Uh, this is Nicole's car. It is a supercharged 2016 RS model. Yes. And uh, yeah. it's a pretty so nice we, setup. The, it's actually kind of correct, Jason. It's the first. Yeah. It's the first uh, six gen V6 supercharged, and I think it's probably the only one right now. Um, so. The, as you guys can see, I mean, I'm not hiding anything. This is it. We've had a lot of questions. Is there one available? Well, we're looking at it right here. This is the first time we've seen the car too. You know, so so really, we we don't know how much power it makes. I, I'm, I'm assuming it makes a good amount of power because the fifth gen made a decent amount of power when those were uh, supercharged on those V6 cars. So those made a good amount of power. So I'm assuming this one's going to make it say, roughly about the same amount of power. Um, but this is the first one, only one right now. So this is kind of the prototype kit uh, to, to kind of keep you guys in, you know, for your V6 guys that are wondering, is there one available? Is one coming out? There you go. So, so we got that going. Um, let's see here. And um, Jason, we got any other questions about the side markers? We, we don't, man. Um, a Mark's question was basically what, what the cost on a set of black okay. were. We have to look at it. We can always, so, Mark, so, we'll throw you a link. Yeah, we'll throw you a link, Mark. But I want to say a set of, if you do like a set of ghosted black, um, I want to say those are going to be in the, Right, a little bit over three hundred dollars, I believe. Um, that's that's for the ghosted. If you went with uh, uh, they call it this one the kind of this concept style. If you went with something like this, um, it's a little bit cheaper just because they don't have to worry about ghosting it. Um, and obviously the prices vary from clear all the way to tinted, all the way to ghosted. So it really just kind of depends. But we'll throw up a link there for you. So real quick, see. guys, let's let's talk about the Lethal Camaro shirt. Yes, what's with the Lethal Camaro shirt? Why am I wearing it? Um, as some of you guys that, that might follow us on Instagram, um, you might know that we, we sponsor Lethal, uh, Lethal Camaro. Um, if you guys don't follow him or if you don't have Instagram, go follow him. It's a great cause. Um, what he does is he takes his personal car, personal, you know, personal stuff, and he modifies it. So he kind of does something similar that we, we show you guys in live shows. He does it constantly on YouTube and Instagram. He posts a lot of pictures um, and does a lot of videos on YouTube itself. Um, the reason I'm wearing the shirt is because he's he's putting everything towards um, getting a little personal here, but he puts he's putting everything towards his son. Um, his son has had uh, uh, a lot of issues. He's I want to say he's only about two years old, so he's had a lot of issues as far as um, I, I forget what it's called. He's had some medical issues, guys. Yeah, he's had some medical issues, so he's constantly having to kind of uh, go in and get blood transfusions. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, it, it, it slips my mind. I'll throw it in the comments later as far as what he has. Um, but the reason I want you guys to go, or want, want, the reason I'm wearing this shirt 
is because I want to urge you guys to go to his site and go buy a shirt. Um, the reason because I want to say it's a $20 shirt and, the, and everything goes to his son. So you're, you're helping him cover his cost in, in, medical uh, of bills, medical bills and everything uh, else. And plus he's offering a great amount of information yes. to the community. Yeah, he, he's been there for the community. He had a fit gen. A lot of guys don't know that he had a fit gen. He had a 2013 V6, I believe. So he had a fit gen before he got a 6 gen. And with his 6 gen, he's just, he's just done one thing after another, one thing after another. So it, it's been great to deal with him. Um, it's been great having him aboard, uh, you know, with us backing him uh, with everything he does. Um, we, we send him, you know, different things at different times, you know, something that we're working on. Um, you know, we really kind of like to help him out. So that's why I want to kind of urge everybody to go, go get a shirt, go get a decal, um, go get something from his site. Because like I said, everything goes towards his son and helps pay for that. So uh, it's always something kind of give you feel good moment. It's definitely a feel good moment. And I mean, I like this shirt. I like the design. Doesn't look bad. And fits well. Yeah, it's good looking. You know, so definitely go check that out, guys. Really want to kind of help him out and uh, go from there. So we're, we're going to finish up the show now. Um, I want to, like I said, again, I want to thank uh, Nicole and uh, Anthony for coming by, letting us use their car, yeah. do the install on the side markers. Definitely. You know, they turned out really nice. These are, like I said, these are the tinted ones. Yes. Um, they're beautiful. Awesome, Jane. Yeah, um, they really turned out, I mean, they, they turned out great. Yeah, so you, we showed you the different options you can get. Yeah. So let's do, we're going to do Know the Show. What are we giving away today? Today we're giving away, since we're talking about Oracle and their side markers, um, we're going to go ahead and give away an Oracle shirt along with a Fast Tech Performance shirt. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give those two away. You know, so, so we'll give we'll that stuff away. Uh, but like I said, that's what we got. And uh, as far as the, the Oracle shirt, we got to give you guys a head up. We only have large. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so... But still, um, a fast tech shirt in your size, uh, choice size, uh, size choice. Um, I believe this one's this one's a large as well. Uh, but uh, we have other sizes: mediums, smalls, extra large, two X. Um, so we have those sizes. But uh, we'll go ahead and give those away. So okay, so the know the show is basically what color is the light on the front side marker? That's a good one. That's a good one. What color is the light? It's a 50-50 chance. You got a 50-50 chance. 50 /50 chance if you, you know the colors. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, is you can put your put your uh, put your answer in the comments. Okay. We'll go back and review them after the show. Definitely. And we'll contact the definitely. winner. Yeah, definitely. We'll go ahead and look at the time. Each one is timestamped so we know when the comment was put in there. So uh, we're definitely gonna be looking at that. Yeah, and that way y'all can look at the timestamps as well. I think too, right? Yeah, yeah. And y'all can see actually who wants so. I want to thank everybody again for hanging out with us today. I'm Jason on the on the camera here. It's Ricardo. We will again go to Lethal Camaro's yes. website. We'll Lethal. put a link in there so you can Definitely. buy a T-shirt, give to a good cause, help him and his family out. Mm -hmm. uh, again, want we'll to thank Nicole, Anthony for bringing the car over. And guys, y'all all have a great week. We'll see you guys.